Today we're going to have a look at two ways in which you can complete a TIG welding corner joint. And I think the second way we'll show you in the video a bit later on is really going to surprise you. So to start things off, we've set our amps to 70 amps. So our torch angles pointing straight down to ensure that we get penetration through the joint. And as we move along, we're going to move at a 15 degree push angle. As we're trying to fill quite a big gap and penetrate through with our root and also fill up on the top of our edge of our joint, we've opted to use a 2.4mm or a 332 of an inch welding wire. So you may have noticed that we're moving quite quickly down this joint. This is so we don't burn away the top edges of our material as we want the structure to be intact. As you can see from this second angle, we're building up nicely, adding the TIG wire consistently. But you don't always need TIG wire in order to weld a corner joint, as seen here. Sometimes you can actually use the parent material and the edges of the material to fuse together and this will also give you a strong weld. The obvious downside to this is that you might cause the material to bend or warp and cause distortion to it and we are aware that not everyone who does welding actually does it for a living and sometimes the things that people weld aren't that critical. So if you enjoyed this little TIG welding trick the video you can see on the screen now is going to show you something even more insane. As always thanks for watching and we'll see you in that next video.